Hello everybody, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel, I'm John, and today we're taking it back. That's right, Samyang now has a few new flavors that I have not tried yet. I have them, so let's try them. Today, we're going to try this one. This is Samyang Bulldog Jampong. And jampong is a Korean spicy noodle soup dish that is made with seafood and beef, typically seafood beef mixture. This one, um, I don't have an exact English translation because everything is in Korean letters. But uh, I did a little Google Translate for this and I read some things online, an article online, and Basically, it has a combination of a bunch of different proteins. It has pork, beef, and chicken. I think the the chicken is because it's a bulldog product. They still want that spicy chicken flavor. But it also has beef and pork bones. And I also saw in the Google Translate that there's squid powder in there as well. Um, so there is some seafood element to it. Uh, I noticed in the bottom here it has this little guy that says Bulldog Fire Level 3. And not on this package, but on the large package that contain all the pillow packs, there's a guy that says like 1 through 5, which ones are in each category. And the, the top one, the 5, only had the 3x spicy um, level in it. And this one was on the 3. I didn't translate to see which ones were all included in that list. It might be something I look at later. But as you can see, this is all in Korean lettering, which means this package was meant to be sold in Korea, so I had to get it shipped over to try it out. Um, the other one that I'll be trying uh, potentially tomorrow uh, you'll see it has all English lettering, which means it was meant to be sold here in the United States. Um, but I'll get to that later tomorrow. So this jumpong, if you see the picture, it has... Looks like beef and bok choy and some kind of spicy peppers and onions. Those are all uh, somewhat ingredients that are on here. There is like chili powder and pepper powder. There is uh, the freeze-dried bok choy and onions, as well as the, uh, the packet, the dry packet had these. Let's see if I can pick it up. The uh, chopsticks to show you. There you go. It has these little pieces that look like meat. Um, one thing I looked up online said it said soybean meat, um, so this, these might be just like a soy protein made to look like beef. But since I had some in my fridge, I actually sliced up some uh, flank steak that I had from a previous meal, so I have some chunks of meat in there as well uh, that I know is meat. There's also little pieces of bok choy in here that yeah, I can't grab right now. And I also added my own green onion to it as well, which is kind of difficult to pick up to show you. But here's the bowl. As you can see, there is soup element to this. This is one of the exceptions. Um, typically, bulldogs are soupless. Um, they have the stew variety, which is just the regular uh, bulldog made into a, a soup. Um, but this one is also. I don't know which other ones are, but these two, those two are ones I know for sure. It comes with this spice pack. Um, this is not the typical Bulldog spice pack. It has some other flavorings in it. Um, when I squeeze it out, I got a little of my finger taste of it. There's definitely a beefy quality to the flavor. Um, it has this pack, which had the little meat or soybean meat uh, protein flakes in it as well as some green flakes which were, I think were bok choy and green onion. Then it also came with this 
Uh, this is an aroma oil. Uh, if you are familiar with like the main components of a bowl of ramen, you have your tare, which is your, your seasoning liquid. You have your broth, which is the main majority of the liquid. You have your noodles, you have your toppings, and you have your aroma oil. Aroma oil is usually just like a regular oil, like uh, anything from canola, soybean, olive oil, uh, sesame oil that has something in there. Some Maybe some like chicken skins that were melted into it or uh, some aromatics like green onion and ginger that were uh, simmered in it just to get that oil an extra bit of flavoring and that's uh, mixed in here as well. So without further ado, I'm going to taste the finished product, tell you what I think, and afterwards I have a little bonus for you. Here we go. I'm use my spoon to help me hold this. <clears throat> Very tasty. Um, one thing that I did not mention before is the noodles they use in there, they're kind of wide and flat. Almost like if you were to compare it to like a Italian style, it's almost like a linguine or a fettuccine. But they still have the similar chew and bounce that a regular bulldog noodle might have as well. I'm going to get a little piece of this meat, meat. It's a little spongy, a little bouncy. <clears throat> Definitely, <coughs> if I were to judge just by the consistency of it, I think it is like a soy protein. It's a little too, like, processed feeling. But it's not bad. It's just like a, it's a welcome addition to something that's supposed to be like a seafood beefy flavor. Well, let me try some of my own steak that I added. Hmm. Now that has nothing to do with the package of what's presented here. It has like a grilled, charcoal y little note to it, smoky. Let's go ahead and continue. <clears throat> I would say the biggest difference here, well, the biggest noticeable difference in this is that it is a soup-based um, bulldog, uh, which is, is very unique. There's, there's two, maybe. I don't know if I'm missing one off the top of my head that is a, a soup-based one. But there's at, most, at least two of all the flavors. That's very rare. But the second thing that is the most unique of this is the beefiness no other bulldog product that I've had had this level of beefiness and I know that's not just from the steak that I added because I tasted this pack before without mixing anything and even when I tasted it on my fingers, I said, hmm, that is a beefy flavor that I'm not used to with a typical bulldog. Usually the main flavor is, protein-wise, is chicken. And the, one website that I read, even the... Uh, said the percentage of each one 
and that actually is on the label of this. It says the liquid is 2% beef, 8% pork bone concentrate, and 0.1% chicken. I don't know what that percentage is out of. Is it like the full volume of that pack? 2% of that is beef, 8% is pork bone concentrate, and 0.1% is chicken. Again, I'm not familiar with uh, Korean labels and I can't translate uh, myself. So take it as it is. The spice level is pretty good. You see, uh, I've stopped and I've had a few coughs here and there. I've not gotten hiccups yet, so typically uh, I get hiccups around the 4,000-ish uh, skull heat unit mark. Uh, and I have not gotten hiccups yet, so I'm interested in uh, the theory that it's lower than the 4,000. <laughs> <clears throat> I do get a lot of I think this is because of the broth like all of the top of my lip here has a good uh, spicy tingle to it my, th my tongue though is not really on fire there's some warmth in the back of my throat Overall, this is a welcome addition to the the Bulldog family for Samyang. Uh, it's uh, being as as beefy as it is. It is a welcome addition to spread the horizons of what you can get out of a, a Bulldog from Samyang. And uh, on to this bonus content that I have for you today. After I give a, a brief uh, pause here to blow my nose <laughs> it is spicy enough that uh your nose will run here's the bonus content and i'm going to have a part two of the bonus content in the next video so be sure to watch the whole video for that as well this is the mountain dew 2022 mystery flavor voodoo um they've done this i think this is the fourth year they've done it the first year it ended up being a candy corn flavor and the label was white orange and uh, yellow the next two years had different uh color schemes that were fruity and like they ended up being one was like chewy fruit and one was like crunchy fruit or something like that and I think they were trying to say that one was like Starburst and one was Skittles but they couldn't use uh, the phrases Starburst or Skittles because they didn't have a licensing agreement with the company that made them but okay, it does have a number four right there number four to tell you that this is the fourth year and the color scheme of this is pink and purple there's a little yellow as well and just so you know this is the sugar free the zero sugar edition tomorrow's video that i'll be recording uh the bonus content will have the full sugar version of this um which uh i think is going to allow me to think about what my ideas are a little bit longer before i try that one as well and uh, as you can see it is cloudy so it does have the ester of rosin in there first let's give the smell it definitely has a fruity uh powdery fruity smell to it almost like a pixie stickish um it has 
tartaric acid is pretty high on there, as well as citric acid is pretty high on here. Um, both of those are sour, so I estimate just by looking at the, the second and the third ingredient, it's carbonated water, then tartaric acid, then citric acid. I assume on the, the full sugar one, it'll be removed further down due to high fructose corn syrup. Uh, but let's go ahead and give it a taste and see if it has a, a sour taste to it. It's not super sour. But it definitely has it leans towards the tartness. Now, my brother Derek, he tried this already. I think he just tried the regular sugar, full sugar edition. And he was asking me if I had tried it yet. And he was describing to me what he thought it was. And uh, I do remember him saying it was some kind of sour candy. Uh, but I don't remember exactly what he said. Maybe like Sour Patch Kids or something like that. But I'm going to disagree with him. I'm going to say that these are pixie sticks. You know pixie sticks, the cylindrical tube you break over the top, you pour the, the powder into your mouth. That's what I'm going to say. Mountain Dew Voodoo 2022 Pixie Sticks. We'll see if my uh, idea about that changes tomorrow when I try the full sugar version as well. There definitely is all these colors of Pixie Sticks. So, so far right now, I'm fairly confident in my answer to that question. Mountain Dew Voodoo 2022 mystery flavor in my opinion pixie sticks and as far as Samyang Jampong goes two thumbs up I would definitely recommend this I don't know if it's ever going to officially come to the United States but there are places you can find it online that will ship it over if uh, trying new instant noodles is your kind of thing and you don't mind paying you know, more than it's worth, but nothing absolutely ridiculous to get them. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you tomorrow for a second Samyang flavor that is new. And also bonus content of Mountain Dew Voodoo, full sugar. But until then, like and subscribe. Watch more of my videos. See you later. Bye for now.